Hello there, welcome back. In this video lecture, we will see how to register a UDF function with Spark SQL functions so that you can use it with a query rather than using uh, with Spark Data Frame API or Spark Dataset API. Right? Uh, so, before I go ahead, I will just copy the boilerplate code and uh, uh, let me create a new object, scale object and uh, Spark UDF example 2. Okay, let me create a main method as well. Can also extend the app and do it, but when you are defining functions, right? Uh, if you are using app, uh, extends app, you have to follow the order. Uh, uh, you, you cannot uh, uh, define function, uh, you cannot call the function before uh, the define uh, function definition is executed. It's something like a script. Uh, so it's better to have a uh, uh, main method rather than uh, uh, extends app, right? Uh, so I will just uh, have just created it. In our previous video lecture, we have seen uh, uh, a simple uh, UDF function which takes uh, a symbol and it converts the uh, uh, characters from uh, lowercase to uppercase or from uppercase to lowercase, right? Uh, in this video lecture, uh, we'll, we'll see a function which takes two different parameters of the same row and calculates an average. For example, suppose I have uh, uh, two different columns in my uh, uh, stocks data, uh, which, which are like high and low. So I want to see what is the average uh, share price of a particular uh, symbol for a day right average traded price so this i wanted to calculate now uh, to calculate this uh, uh, i can uh, i have to take uh, these two columns and uh, find uh, uh, and uh, uh, use a average function for this right uh, so to do that i'll just uh, write a normal function uh, which takes uh, two parameters uh, function uh, av Rage and uh, it takes two uh, numbers, right? Num1 as a double and num2 as a double. Now, what I am doing, uh, I'll return a double from this. And what uh, this function does, it does the average of the two numbers which we have now number one plus num2 divided by two, which returns me average. Uh, now I have created my fun uh, function right now this function should be converted into an UDF uh, to define that as an UDF uh, I have to use val average UDF and uh, this what 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 this thing takes it takes an UDF and takes the parameter and the return types and uh, which function I have to pass right to understand this i'll just uh, leave a i note description to my previous introduction to U, uh, udf you can uh, go through how to create the udf here uh, the first return type i have uh, have to first give the return type which would be double i'll give the double and the uh, second would be the order of uh, the arguments or uh, types uh, order of the argument types so here again uh, everything in my uh, function right now uh, are double uh, so these three uh, arguments will be there and uh, it a, it is uh, calling average method which which i have defined outside now i have to import uh, a udf i'll import org apache spark sql functions udf right now my eclipse is also uh, clean now i have this udf and uh, if if it for uh, if it as per in the earlier method we can directly use this udf but if i want to register this udf along with the fu sql functions what i have to do uh, i'll have to do use spark dot uh, sql context dot udf dot there's a method called register which can take the register uh, which can take two parameters uh, one is a type of the uh, one is name which you want to give to the function uh, so i want to give the same name i want to maintain uh, a same naming convention i'll just use uh, average udf this is the name of the function which you have which you can use with a spark sql query um, so otherwise i'll uh, yeah to differentiate it what i'll do uh, 
I'll, I'll just give something like this spark underscore UDF. This would be my name. So what is the function I have to give over here? That would be my UDF which I have created, which is spark UDF, right? So uh, I have defined a function and I have uh, created an average or oh, sorry, I have created an UDF of my function and then I am registering the function with the name average underscore UDF into my spark sql context right now this function whatever i have it is being registered into spark sql context now to use this function how i have to do uh, let me just demonstrate this i'll take this stocks data i'll uh, uh, create a temp create or replace a temp a view here i'll give a uh, name i'll give uh, stocks as my uh, table name uh, if you are uh, new to this, uh, uh, if you are not aware of this create or replace uh, table view or temporary view, uh, I've just give a, I just uh, give I will give an I know description to the uh, my previous video where I have uh, explained how to create a, or uh, how to create these uh, uh, temporary uh, views in uh, Spark 2. You can uh, go and check it out. So I have created this uh, stock uh, stocks create or replace view and have uh, given the table name as I'll I'll just use to just to differentiate. Uh, I'll give a name something like this. I have created a view called temp view called uh, stocks table. Now this stocks data, whatever data frame, whatever I have, it I can represent uh, using stocks table. Now uh, I can simply run a query with that uh, by using Spark dot SQL, and I can run any query. Suppose I want to take um, uh, average of uh, uh, average of open and high uh, low and high value so that what is the average price of that particular share uh, for that particular day so what i'll do i'll use select uh, i'll just use a query here select symbol uh, symbol comma high comma low comma here i want to find the average right average uh, what is the function name i have given average underscore udf this of what i have to do i have to part, uh, pass two variables that those two uh, uh, two columns those two columns are high uh, comma low these two this i'll give an average uh, alias name which i can give as as uh, average uh, price from which table I have to create uh, from stocks underscore table right now I'm running this query and whatever output I'm getting I'll just give a show method right in this uh, in this approach what we are doing um, creating a function converting it in UDF and registering the UDF into a spark SQL and calling that function as a normal uh, inbuilt spark SQL function once I register this uh, uh, I can use this function like at any other function which are which are built-in functions uh, for spark I can use in the similar way now I have done this and let me just run the job and uh, see how uh, this executes uh, Uh, now my SQL query got failed because I have given a space over here. Ideally, there should not be any space uh, between the columns. And now I'll uh, quickly run the job again. Now my job has failed again. Uh, yeah, this is because of uh, the same exception which we have seen in our previous video. Uh, we were using uh, yarn. Uh, but this function uh, is not at uh, uh, serialized uh, so uh, but the same thing as i told earlier uh, it would run fine if you run it a jar file uh, but i am running this as of now uh, with a local uh, let's execute the job once uh, now you can see that uh, uh, i have uh, uh, we have calculated the average price uh, which takes high and low and uh, takes the average price and we'll get uh, the value for this uh, 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 table right uh, so uh, this is how you use a uh, udf function and uh, uh, to register with a spark sql function and uh, use it uh, uh, use it with uh, uh, spark uh, job that's it for this video lecture guys and uh, uh, if you are new to this channel please do subscribe to the channel and if you are if you have liked this video please uh, do share uh, the video and spread the knowledge and uh, give a thumbs up uh, for this video and uh, uh, see you in the next video lecture bye guys